Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn about the watcher property in the Vue.js. So what is the use of this watcher property? So the watcher property will be used whenever any state variable or any variable changes. And if you want to do certain perform certain actions or anything, so whenever the variable changes or whenever the state changes, then we will be using this watcher property. So computer properties also does the same thing only right so whatever the variables that are used inside a computer property and that computer property so will be executed but for example let's say that if you want to perform any uh, side effects like changing the dom mutating the dom or changing the another piece of state data so if you want to change another state data means then we need to use this watch function computer is not uh, supported one okay so let's try to see this watch property and i will try to show you a simple demo where we will be uh, more probably will be using this watch component so in this one i am creating a new component here watch component dot view here this is our watch component for this one let's try to add here watch component and let's copy this and paste it here and here also i am copying this one and pasting here let's go to the via app dot view there is this one yeah watch component i've pasted it here so watch component dot view create a template and here i'll be having h3 watch watcher property let's have script setup so now you people will be able to have clear understanding about this setup so now if i try to refresh this page let's go down and here we are able to see watcher property i will show you a basic simple example let's say that i am having a simple uh, what i can say yes or no question so which is available in the documentation only this one here i will be asking a simple question ask a s or no question so this will reply this will reply s or no so whatever the question you are asking then this one i am using input type is equal to text and vi open model is equal to question so this is the question i am asking and in the script setup what i will do is so in the script setup so we will be having vi open model right so i can have constant question is equal to it's a ref so I import the ref of empty so first first it will be empty and i'll be having a question answer or otherwise the response data or anything whichever you want you can take it or otherwise i'll take the answer is equal to ref of so here you can write some something like a question generally contain question mark so it should contain question mark that's it so which i want to ask now we have an answer we have a question let's see the output how it will look like so here ask yes or no question so we need to ask some question here so whenever you ask a question and keep a question mark so we need to call some ajax call and we need to tell whether this one is an yes or no for example let's say that is leela web dev channel so if we are asking if you keep a question mark then it needs to reply that it is yes or no so it's a basic uh, basic thing so don't think that it will give you a correct answer so just i am trying to show you so for this one what we need to do whenever whenever we are trying to change whenever we are trying to change whenever we are uh, trying to change this question data so we need to rep uh, we need to call the ajax call something like we need to watch the variable question so here the first parameter is the question okay the variable that state variable you can have any type of things we'll discuss about this one also and here you'll be having a new question so i will i will tell you this one new question and also the old question you'll be having so right now we are concerned about the new question only there is no need to concern about the old question thing new question and the old question and here in the watch so we need to check that so we, we should not call all the time right so whatever the user is typing so here we should not call it so here what i can do for example if new question new question dot index of 
question mark if it is there means then greater than minus one so if it is there means then we need to call it so now here so we can say that answer dot value is equal to its thinking so we, we are calling the thing so it's thinking and here we need to call the ajax call so normally what, what we can do so i'm using the sync await if you want to know more about this async and await so i have did this one in our ajax complete course what uh, why we need to use this async and await and all those things i have discussed it you can check it there so i can use constant rest is equal to await fetch api i'm using fetch off so we have uh, just a normal api thing so he, where is this one not working okay okay so we have a normal api thing which is given in the vjs documentation just i am trying to take this one it will give you a random question yes or no it will give you a random answer so here after getting this one so i will take answer dot value is equal to again i will do the await why because you will get a readable string so await response dot json so you will get a response dot json and here we can say constant response json and for this one you can write something like constant uh, answer or not constant it's not a con answer dot value is equal to response json dot answer so in this one you'll be having an answer that's it or otherwise if any error comes catch of error so you can write answer dot value is equal to error occurred so could not reach the api and you can write it like this so that's it this is a simple thing now let's try to see it so here if i see the output what happened to this one we are not able to see any output any console okay i think maybe the watch is not defined yeah we need to import this watch so just like ref and all those things we need to import this watch from you right these are all important things not available globally <clears throat> now we got this one so here whenever you are calling so let's try to see in the network so here we'll ask that whether is Leela web dev channel. So when I keep question mark, watch the property will execute here. Okay, so this has been executed and it will give you a random yes or no question. So it is telling answer is equal to yes and it, will, it is giving some images. We'll try to show this image also. And here I will try to have constant response data. We'll have like this ref of empty. So right now it will be empty and this response data we will try to store it in this one response data oh sorry uh, response data dot value is equal to rest json i will be having like this and in this one we will show down answer so here you will be having the answer so it will be telling you whether it is yes or no and down we will show a random small image so which is provided by them or by them only and here we can have Oh, sorry, we should not use it like this. We should use this all on thing. Response. Response data dot image. And here we can have style is equal to width around 200 pixel. We'll take it so that you can have very minimum. And these are all the things. If you want, you can also keep uh, response data. So for the first time. Uh, response data dot value first time i will keep it as an empty fine so here let's see the output how it will come so i am removing this one all we will ask the same question so is leela web dev channel i think hope it will give uh, correct only so if it says no no means then we don't know what will happen so it's thinking yes it's a channel it's a channel it seems <coughs> web dev useful so let's see so what it will try to give it's thinking no it is not useful it seems so like this you can so now here all the time whenever you are trying to keep a question mark it is trying to call the watcher property so in this way it is useful so he, this is the way how the watcher will be very useful so for example we'll ask is leela a man so i'm asking some random question yes oh we got is woman so let's try to check this one also it's telling it's a woman also yes it seems <laughs> So this is the thing so how this is how the watcher property actually works so hope you understood about this watcher property how it is working so what we have did it here 
so whenever this position is changing so whatever the value it is changing so I, I immediately the watch so this one it will it will try to listen to the question where vari question variable and when this question variable is changing for each time it will try to check whether question mark is there or not if a question mark is there then it will try to call this fetch api and it will try to take the uh, uh, call the api and all the things it will change the state data and all the things and it will do it whereas in the computer property we cannot do these all the things so watcher property will be very useful in whenever you want to perform a side effect like this so you are trying to perform a side effect calling an async function and you are with that uh, data the with the result what you are getting from the async data so you are trying to change the state things so you can use this watcher property this is very useful not only the state you can also use a getter function area of values these all things we can use it as a watch source types i will try to discuss in we'll try to discuss in the next video so this is how the simple example of the watcher property will look like hope you understood about this watcher property if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you